Karen Durbin Graves, Painting with Acrylics 101.com. Does frustration get to you about your art? Are you struggling trying to get it, trying to improve your art? I so understand that. I was, I'm still there, but I, I've learned how to improve uh, and, and how to get it done. And there is one secret thing you can do. Can you guess what it is? Practice. I know. I harp on it all the time. But it is the secret sauce. And I'm sorry. <laughs> but it's the same thing in anything that you want to do. You have to practice if you want to get good at it. Play the piano. Oh, scales. Practice. Uh, and another instrument. Yeah, practice. You want to be a ballerina? It's going to take a lot of practice. <laughs> you want to play golf? You want to get good at golf? Practice. You want to be a, a world-class swimmer? That is a boatload of practice. And art is no different. This is a skill, and you can learn a skill. You can improve a skill. Uh, you can practice that skill, and you will improve even more. But without the practice... People think that art just comes out of people. It doesn't. There are very, very few people on the planet who um, come here with so much artistic ability that they can just draw or paint, uh, sculpt with very little effort. And that is the minority. A teensy-weensy little bit of people can do that. <laughs> but most of us, have to work at it. We have to practice. We have to understand. We have to study. We have to concentrate. We have to think about it. We have to assess what we've done that we're not happy with. What don't I like? How can I get better at that? What am I not seeing? What art fundamental am I not getting? All of those things. It's all head work up here. And then it's practice work to get muscle memory for your hand with the brush. The brush actually has to become part of your hand. It has to just, you can't be thinking about, you just, it, you have to have done it so many times, it just does it. So you're painting flowers and you're struggling with leaves. Get out a big piece of freezer paper and make leaf after leaf after leaf, fill up that page with all sorts of leaves or one particular leaf and then how to flip it all just over and over and over. And I'm not talking 10 times. I'm talking hundreds of times. <laughs> now, does that mean that it's going to take you forever to learn to paint? No, but there are specific things you can do to get better and practice is one of them. And I'm just telling you some uh, practical ways that you can practice to get better. You don't have to paint a whole painting and think, well, that's awful. Practice the parts of the painting that you think you're going to have trouble with. Practice them. Practice clouds. Practice flower petals. Practice sunflowers, daisies, geraniums, iris. Practice on paper you don't care about. I use freezer paper. I roll out a big piece and I just fill it up with all kind of practice. And then I write myself little notes on it. Or I tell myself, I like this one. Oh yeah, this is pretty good. This one's too short, too fat, too wide. Um, I turn the brush the wrong way. I leave myself notes. And then I come back later, maybe a week later, maybe a month later. Well, I thought I knew how to paint leaves, but evidently I didn't. And so then I get out that practice and I look at it. I study it. And then I practice some more. And you will, your hand will start to get, develop that muscle memory that you have to have. It has to become part of your hand. It, there's just no other way. I wish there was another way. <laughs> but unless you are you come here with just an absolute boatload of talent, which 99% of us do not do, then you're going to have to practice and enjoy that practice. 
Practice with a purpose. Learn what you're looking for, what you want to do. Um, sit down and, you know, I want to paint flowers. What is it I love about flowers? Um, what kind, let's, let's work on one flower. Let's work on that leaf. I'm going to look it up on the internet. What does that flower look like? What's, how does it get the depth? And all of those things. And then pull out your practice paper and start practicing. Um, there's just really only a few ways that you can get better at anything. But practice is always the secret sauce. So anyway, I hope that uh, this has motivated you, inspired you, whatever, <laughs> to get out that paper and practice. And don't think because, well, I, you know, I've done 10, I can't do it. I, I'm, I'm no good. Get that thought out of your head right away. Because as I said, this is a skill. You can learn a skill, you can practice a skill, and you can improve on a skill. But only if you do it. Only if you do it. 20, 30, 40, 50 times, 100 times, 200 times. You know, basketball players shoot free throws 500 a day, and they still miss. So I don't know what makes us as artists think that because I sat down and I did four leaves and I couldn't do them, that, well, I may as well just give up. You don't want to give up. You want to keep at it. You want to keep working at it because you're going to get it. I promise. Okay? Thank you so much. I hope this has been helpful. Have a great day. Let's paint together real soon.